Now we must make ample use of metaphor, for it is the companion to logic. If either one of these components stand alone without the other, then confusion and one-sided thinking ensues. One should strive for a delicate balance of both strict intellect and non-linear curvaceous thoughts and speech when communicating with others. The curve, divine feminine, is as equally important as the line, divine masculine. Balanced thought is when it comes to explaining this reality. If a being just uses logic and intellect solely when diving into the mysteries could lead them astray, so it must be approached with a state of mind other than the boxed lunch mentality we so deeply embed ourselves in as a society, with all of our overly logistic thinking and our overly rigid and right-angled world. Straight, to the point, we say. Now I don't know about you, but in my perception, if an object is straight to a point on both sides as with the phrase that I just referred to, that everyone was mentally embedded with straight to the point, then wouldn't that create an arrow? Doesn't an arrow shoot straight? Okay, well here we are again, overly straight and pointy. What we need are more circles and curves in this reality, not more lines and squares. Let me explain what I mean by all this. In terms of lines and curvatures, what is the collective mind programmed with when it sees lines and curves? This is somewhat rhetorical, but I know you are here to learn and absorb this wisdom that is currently being cascaded around you. So no quizzes, I'll just tell you. So, times are changing now politically when it comes to gender, men, women, bathroom signs, etc. But make no mistake, no matter how fast the society has been changing for a few decades in relation to gender roles, the human evolutionary psyche cannot be overwritten in such a short amount of time. No matter how many new genders people attempt to create, no matter how many new geometries are knee attempting to embed themselves into our society, straight lines have overrun this world. It's time to enter. The curve. This is the part of reality that is not as integrated as deeply as the line is. This is the part of reality that the line was built on top of a symmetry plays a huge part in what I'm seeking to bring across clearly. Asymmetry is having parts that fail to correspond to one another in shape, size, or arrangement. Lacking symmetry. Another definition states, having parts or aspects that are not equal or equivalent, unequal. Now here's the definition of symmetric. Having its parts in due proportion as to dimensions. 1796, from symmetry plus, IC, or from French symmetrique. Earlier was symmetrical, 1751. Symmetrical, 1610s. Symmetrical, 1650s. Meant, agreeing in measurement. Also, agreeing with divine order. Okay, this is going to be quite a bit to delve into, so I will be thorough. Now firstly, certain things come to mind when delving into the definitions of asymmetry and symmetry. Based on these definitions, the adept knows what is being conveyed by mere understanding of what was previously mentioned about lines and curves. Keep in mind those who actually created English differ not from those who created the Anglo-Saxon dialect and differ not from Roman and Greek. All these factions acquired what they had and have by means only of pain to those who stood in their way conquerors, plunderers, and thieves. These are the creatures, I won't say men and women, but the creatures that were the primary influence of the very vehicle of communication we call English. Symmetry is seen as the epitome of completeness and divinity, as opposed to asymmetry, which is ultimately seen as unwanted, imperfect, and in need of correction. Symmetry, as commonly understood, is a rare find in the intricate dance of nature. Flowers, trees, and plants often defy perfect symmetry, embracing a unique and asymmetric beauty. However, associating symmetry solely with divine balance may be a skewed perspective, influenced by societal norms and perceptions. In our overly patriarchal influenced world, symmetry has been culturally elevated as a standard of beauty, mirroring an overtly masculine society. The very definition of asymmetry, suggesting imbalance, becomes entangled with notions of imperfection. This skewed association overlooks the inherent harmony and balance found in the diverse patterns of the natural world. Cities, structures, and everyday items, from television sets to cell phones, often adhere to strict symmetry, reflecting a design aesthetic deeply ingrained in our society. The prevalence of square shapes and uniform structures may symbolize control and order, characteristics historically associated with masculine dominance.